Hello guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we will cover a game from day one of the FTX Crypto Cup in Miami, and it's game four of the match between Anish Giri and Magnus Carlson. I should mention that at this point Anish was down one point, and he's now in a must-win situation. And this actually will justify the way he played with the black pieces in the game. So without further introduction, let's see what happened in this game. Magnus is playing with white and he starts with d4, knight to f6, knight to f3, g6, and now bishop to g5 going for the chore attack, bishop to g7, knight to b to d2, h6 attacking the bishop, bishop to h4, d6, e4 taking the whole center, and now g5, bishop back to g3, and now knight to h5. Black is intending to capture on g3 and the Keep the bishop pair, and here Magnus simply played c3, solidifying his center. Black goes e6, and now knight to c4. And this is actually a very instructive idea in this type of positions. White here intends to put his knight back on e3. Also, he wants to put the other knight on d2, put his bishop on d3, and the queen on e2. And this is going to be a very powerful setup. The knight, for example, on e3 stops any g4 ideas. And also white will have a dominant control over the center, which means that he can play on either sides of the board. And we're going to see how Magnus did this in the game. So here Anish played knight to d7, and now knight back to d2. Knight capture on g3, pawn capture on g3, and now b6. Black is intending to finish it to his bishop. And now a4, a6 by black, and now bishop to d3. Bishop to b7, and now queen to e2. Anish goes queen to e7. And now knight to e3. And now white has successfully managed to achieve his optimal setup. We can see here that this battery puts a lot of pressure on the queen side, which means that black doesn't have the option to castle queen side since the pawn on a6 will drop. Also, it's extremely dangerous to castle on the king side because white has a noble file, which means that the black king will stay in the center and it's really hard to play this way. Here, Anish Giri tried to counterattack in the center and he played c5 d5 by Magnus, and now knight to f6, f4, queen to c7, long castle, and pawn capture on f4, pawn capture on f4, and now b5. Now black is trying to create some play on the queen side because his position is passive and he cannot just stay still and do nothing. And here Magnus completely ignores what Anish is doing and he simply captured on a6. Pawn recaptures on e6, and now pawn to e5. Now the knight is attacked and also white has a threat of playing bishop to g6, which will basically keep the black king forever in the center. d capture on e5, and now bishop to g6 check, king to f8, and now Magnus tried to crash through on the light squares and he played f5. And here if you capture the pawn, you simply help white bring more attackers to the king side. So here Anish went b4, but unfortunately black's attack is very slow, white simply captured on e6, b capture on c3, knight to c4, c capture on b2, and queen capture on b2. Black went bishop back to c8 attacking the pawn. And now the simple way to win the game which Magnus went for is simply to trade queens. And he went queen to b6. Now if you try to avoid the trade of queens and you go queen to e7, this is bad. White will simply play rook to d8. And after knight to e8, now queen to d6. If you capture the queen, this is mate. And if you defend your queen, for example, with the bishop, now simply rook capture on e8, and you cannot recapture with the queen because of this pen. And after king to g7, now you drop the queen and you lose the game. So here Anish was forced to exchange queens, and now knight capture on b6. Rook to b8. Now a very simple and direct way to win the game, knight capture on c8. Rook capture on c8, and now knight to f5. And it was in this position where Anish resigned the game. Simply because there is nothing he can do. Black simply cannot move his rook from the back rank because white has a mate threat on d8. And this rook and bishop at knight, they are actually doing nothing. And here if you play something like c4, now simply rook to d8, rook capture, and now pawn to e7, king to g8, and now white makes a new queen. And this will end in checkmate. For example, here knight to e8, queen capture. Bishop to f8 and now queen to f7 checkmate. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell to get our latest videos. 
thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video